here right now, for most of us, it is so we can gain knowledge. Some of us will dive deeper into a particular topic to gain an overall better understanding. This search for knowledge has led to advancements in technology and medicine. Overall, we are here for the search of knowledge. Okay, so the topic I researched was all about, as I was say, stating, the search for knowledge and the extent one will go for the search. Also, if there's any consequences if you go too deep into a particular topic. But before I go into my books, I think there are a few theories and other stuff that need to be expanded on. So my first theory is John Locke's theory of knowledge. Knowledge is the perception of agreement or disagreement of two ideas. Locke argues that all knowledge is through experience. He also splits knowledge into three different topics. Intuit intuitive, demonstrative, and sensitive knowledge. The next one is Gottfried Leibniz's theory of knowledge, which is all if he thinks that knowledge can be split up into mathematics. However, later in his life, he proves that wrong. And then, both Locke and Leibniz describe the ambition of humans in knowledge, in that if there is a particular goal set, that they will go search deeper and sometimes even be lost into that goal. So the books I read were Dr. Faustus and Moby Dick. So both of these, the main character, search for knowledge, but they lose themselves during the search, either through morals or just, in general, just lose themselves. So in Dr. Faustus, he makes a deal with the devil, which is the biggest part of the story. So if he is a doctor right now, and he's very advanced in medicine, people look up to him, but he feels that he doesn't have enough knowledge yet. He thinks that maybe there's something else. He thinks law, but he says that's too formal, doesn't like it. Then he goes into black magic, which is commonly associated with the devil at this time. So after seeing, so then after going through the devil and learning black magic later in his life, he decides, and or he learns that he actually lost himself during this time. He gets fed up with petty things like conjuring stuff for queens, which he used to think, which he would used to think is very, like he wouldn't like that at all. So the next book I read was Moby Dick. Um, Moby Dick is all about a man named Ishmael who goes on the hardest task of his life. He always wanted to be in the whaling company and he met this guy, guy named Kipeg who is a, a harpooner. So eventually he gets caught up with how, trying to understand the whale in every humanly way possible. And another thing with Moby Dick is that it's about religion. He states at the beginning of the story it talks about religion and only one religion has knowledge, which I tend to disagree with. I think because after reading many proverbs of different religions, it shows that all of them have one thing in common, searching for knowledge. So overall, I want to get to it. Overall, I found out that the search for knowledge is very important for the human race. However, diving too deep into the search of knowledge can have very negative consequences, as shown through Moby Dick and Dr. Foster. And that's it. Thank you.